spiritual enchantress here if you're new to the channel welcome today i'm going to take a few minutes to talk about your root chakra your muladhara chakra what this chakra is where it's located what kind of behaviors are associated with it and what crystals uh, i picked a few crystals that are used for activating and balancing your root chakra so first of all the muladhara chakra or the root chakra is associated with the color red and the element earth, which makes sense because roots dig into the earth. Root chakra is very associated with grounding, grounding your energy, grounding yourself. It's the first chakra as located at the base of your body. So all the way from the palms of your feet to the base of your anus. Um, so right basically where the pelvic floor begins uh, is where the root chakra ends. So our legs, our foundation, our feet, how we stand, how we hold ourselves up in this world. It really has a lot to do with things that happened in childhood and our ability to provide for ourselves, our ability to feel safe and secure, are our basic needs met. Can we get food, water, and shelter? Are those things that we have problems around? Do we have belief systems that are around uh, not being enough for those things, not being deserving of those things, not being able to um, manifest those things easily. So if you find that you're constantly struggling um, to make ends meet, to provide yourself with the basic necessities, then there is most likely a root chakra imbalance. Um, and, and it's not your fault. It often does stem from developmental stages in childhood. If you're interested in this, I would suggest reading a book, Eastern Body, Western Mind. I will put a link down below by Anodeo Judas, and this is where I got this information from. And it's actually extremely interesting how these little things in our childhood, or what we perceive as little things now, have such far-reaching effects into our psyche, into the way that we interact with the world as adults. So anyways, stability, providing for yourself, basic necessities, our right to be here. I have a right to be here would be a good mantra for the root chakra. So I'm going to give you some information on a couple of different crystals that are good for enhancing your root chakra. And I'm sorry if you hear a jingling. My dog thinks that walking around <laughs> the table 10 times during this video is a good idea. So I'm sorry about that. I'm going to start off with Moss Agate. This is a palm stone version of it. Very beautiful. And it's a stone used to ground your excess energy. So grounding um, is really... Uh, sorry. Grounding really enhances our ability to stand firm in reality. So our ability to be in our body. A lot of people who have root chakra imbalances, they don't feel safe in their body. They don't feel safe in their surroundings. So it's very easy to disconnect and go up and, and live up into the higher chakras in your head. Um, so we wanna ground our energy in our body, root ourselves down. Um, and this moss agate is a really great stone for that. And I'll just read you the description here. If you find that you're an overly right or left brain person, the stone is great as it balances out either side. It brings you the courage to go after financial and physical abundance. So that one's a really good one. And moss, moth is very earthy to begin with. So just think about reds and browns and those deep earthy tones, very rooting and grounding. Um, for our energy. So if you find that you're a person, even if you uh, have all your basic needs met and that's not an issue that lives in your head and the ethereal realms and the imaginative world a lot, then root chakra grounding and um, engaging and balancing that energy back into your body is of, of utmost importance because you have to root down to rise up. 
If you don't root down before you rise up, you just float away. Think about a balloon. If you don't tether that baby down and you just let it go, it's gone. So you need to root down. Another good one is smoky quartz. And I have this, um, it's like a raw, unpolished version. And then I have just this little baby tumbled smoky quartz here. And it's a really good stone for grounding and uh, rooting down into your body. And interestingly enough, it's a very good stone for grounding for astral travel so that you can astral travel, uh, access the Akashic records and do a scrying divination, um, basically otherworldly type of things with your energy body. So this is the tether. This is the tether that roots you into your body while you do that. So very interesting dualistic quality here. And then we have Zebra Jasper. I just have the small tumbled stone right now. I hope that you can see it in the camera here. And it's associated with the root chakra. It's very grounding and it's very balancing. It balances out the energy. It's white and black, just like yin and yang. So it's bringing that dualistic nature of you, the, the part of you that needs to access to the spiritual realm and needs rooting into the physical plane at the same time. It balances your energy and it reduces stress and absorbs and breaks down negative energy. It has actually been referred to as the supreme nurturer of stones. And physically, it actually helps your kidney, bladder, skin, bones, and muscles. So very excellent stone. And the fourth stone I picked is fluorite. And I'll just let you see a little closer. It's green and purple and white. And a lot of them are have this like translucent look. And the reason I picked that one, it's not specifically associated with the root chakra, but it is a stone of balance. It balances out the energies in your body. And balance is so connected to grounding and to your root. You root down to rise up. If you don't have that firm foundation, when it comes to your balance, you're just going to fall over. That's metaphorical and realistic. If you build your house on sand, it's wobbly, so you don't have that balance, so you're going to fall over. And same in life. If you don't have that firm, rooted support system, you don't have your roots firmly rooted into the earth, then you will fall over when you try and rise up and build yourself up. So foundation and balancing of the energy is key for all spiritual growth. We start at the bottom, the first chakra, and work our way up. And then I'll just tell you last of all, I have this chakra activating crystal candle. So it's red as it's associated with the root chakra. It's patchouli scented. Patchouli is a very earthy fragrance that is actually known to stimulate the root chakra. And it has a zebra jasper crystal embedded inside. So as it burns down, you can pull out that little crystal at the end. It's very relaxing, very soothing. Um, this one's burning right now, but I have an unopened one. This is kind of what the top looks like. It smells really, really good. It has some fresh dried flowers on the top and it's a 16 ounce candle. Well, that is all for you today. I just wanted to give you kind of the basic lowdown on the root chakra. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a happy face emoji below so I know you made it to the end. I hope you have a wonderful day. And if you wanted to get any of these products that I talked about, you can get them on my website. I will link it down below. Otherwise, a lot of um, local metaphysical stores should um, stock these crystals. They're pretty 
easy to get your hands on. Um, and if you don't know where to get a root chakra activation candle locally, you can buy one on my website. Otherwise, you can simply buy a patchouli candle. That patchouli fragrance is very stimulating to the root chakra. So I hope this finds you well. Have a great day. Like this video if you liked it. Um, share it with anyone you think would gain value. And subscribe, ring in the bell notification button if you haven't already to be updated with new content as it comes out. I do yoga videos as well, and there is one to activate your root chakra. You can check that out on my channel. See you later. Bye.